everyone. So I'm uh, recording this short videos, probably just five minutes for uh, anonymous travel vid. So uh, you made a comment saying uh, you made an error, right? The IIT resource, something, something was disallowed by policy. So the policy allowed virtual machine schools. So I did reply you with this uh, uh, link from Microsoft Docs. I don't know if it actually helps you for the issue because I never reply and I still ref you reply, but I still receive an email from you uh, regarding this. So I would imagine uh, you didn't get to this to fix. So just to quickly show you that, just to confirm, this will be the issue you are getting, right? Resource something was disallowed by policy. Something, something, right? Uh, initiate a policy. You should have something like this, right? Allow virtual machine uh, schools. I would imagine this is something you get. So uh, if you go to the link I have provided to you, which is this one, the sample here, right? So uh, your IT has initiated or uh, this policy in your account, uh, re uh, you know, uh, regarding the subscription you have. So uh, uh, he must have run the script here. So I have run the same script. So uh, blah, blah, blah. So I have run the script. So you're getting, uh, that's what you get, right? Uh, new AZ policy assignment plus definition, uh, the one above. And the scope for that is putting the subscription for for that one. So you might have multiple subscription under one tenant, right? Uh, the assured tenant. So maybe the policy is on this subscription, but not the, on the other one. And he put the list of allowed schools for virtual machines. I put the class, whole class B here, right? But that depends on uh, your IT. So maybe you cannot create a class B, but you can create class D, for example. So, and also they can say the same uh, one for storage account as well. All right, so he must have enforced this policy. That's why you are getting the error we saw in here, right? So when once you click uh, review and create or just create, it will pop, pop up this arrow, right? But if you, we change this, right, to, let's see, I I choose this to be, uh, where's my uh, virtual machine name, resource group region, image, size, yeah, sorry, here. I choose D, right, I choose D, and review and create. See, so yes, do you get this one, I think it's, uh, uh, a lot of virtual machine school, right? So, a storage account, right? So this one violating the the one I have with a storage account, right? So I have to go back and go back and change the disk for the storage account, right? So there's a number of uh, uh, items you should pay attention to here. So if I now I just uh, remove this policy, right? Just remove that. Uh, should be typing the scope for that one subscription. Let's see, uh, okay, it, this name is not recognized, but it, let's see. So this one is remove the policy definition. I guess I don't have, uh, yeah, I don't have a policy definition. That's why I only have this policy assignment. Right, so let's ignore that. So now if I just, uh, let me close this and try to recreate again, right? So let's add a virtual machine, give it the, putting this one, this W, and we're putting these one to be size B, right? And just review and create, simply review and create. Uh, I have something missing here, okay. So my bad, I forgot the most important thing, right? Now let's review and create. Yeah, it's, it's, it's passed, right? It's that simple. So yeah, this video is for you. Just refer this to your IT that, uh, you know, which give me a list of allowed subscription or SKUs that I can create my storage account and VM with.